everyone, it's me, Katie Beth, again. And a few months ago, I made myself a Baby Yoda hat with, like, scarf mittens on it. And to go with my own hat, I wanted to make my boyfriend a matching hat, but not Baby Yoda, because that's already my thing. So I wanted to make him a Mandalorian hat. And of course, since mine is crocheted, his is going to be crocheted too. So I've been shopping all the yarn sales and finding gray and silver yarn. And so I came up with a large collection of different yarns. And I showed him the design that I made for it. So this is the simple design that I made for his Mandalorian helmet, hat, beanie. And I let him pick out from the yarns which ones he liked best. And he picked out these ones with the metallic shimmer in them. So I have three different yarns, different shades, so that I can do shading. In case you're wondering, uh, these ones are from Joanne's Fabric. They're the big twists. And depending on their sales, I think you can get these ones anywhere from $2.50 to about $6.99. This one, I believe I got this one at Joann's or Michael's. I think they're like 7 bucks. I think I got it on sale for half off. With a coupon, of course. And then to make the center of the visor hat, I got just a plain black yarn. I did get this one on sale at Joann's for about like $2.99, I believe. Oh, no, it was Michael's. Got it on sale at Michael's for $2.99. So with the Mandalorian helmet in mind, I'm thinking it's going to be like a beanie, but longer in the back to kind of be more of the helmet. Kind of stop here and then have a visor that I can lift up or down. So if you want to see your face, it'll go back up on your head and be attached here on the side with buttons. And I wasn't sure what type I was going to get or needed, but Joanne's had a button sale also. And so I got all the ones I thought would kind of go with it. These are more metallic buttons. And then just some gray that could go with silver. Do a little button matching. Oh, these gray ones actually go really well. The difficulty I'm seeing, imagining already with this hat, is that when the visor is down, the black part right here, if I just crochet it black, he won't be able to see out of it. And if it's mostly going to be worn up, not a huge deal. But when it's down to get the full visor effect, it might be not so cool if you can't walk around in it because you can't see. Because I'm blind. So one thought I had is to put a screen, like the screen on your windows, that type of material. So it'll still be kind of dark, but it'll be able to see through it. But I was thinking it might be kind of itchy on the inside of the helmet, but I could line it with like ribbon or something soft. But then I also feel like I'd have to do this part in the screen because it might look kind of dumb if this part's a dark black and then this part's just the light screen, but you'd be able to see out of it. Another idea I had is if I make that piece removable. So I'll still crochet it black, but have it somehow removable, like you can take it off with buttons on the inside or flip it up, but that also changes the design. And then it would also have the empty visor spot, which Mando's helmet doesn't have. So I haven't figured out quite how to fix those problems yet, but I figured I'd get started and see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to start with a crochet hook that I just have on hand, which is a K or size 10 and a half. And let's get crocheting. So when starting out with this hat, I pretty much did it the same way. You're pretty much going to start any hat you're ever going to crochet beanie. You just start with a little knot. And then from that one knot, you chain three. And then you kind of make a little loop into the first piece that you had crocheted so that it makes a little ring. So you have a tiny little ring. And then from there, you just keep crocheting into that ring to make a first row. And from there, you just keep crocheting around. Um, I'm doing single stitch all the way around. So you have a little dime shape, keep going. And then eventually you have a little quarter shape and you just keep going from there. One of the tricks that I learned is if you do want to count how many stitches you have in your row, I found that just a little clothes hanger was a really simple way to help me keep track. So just put a little clothes hanger on there and I could tell where I started a row. 
So that was a pretty helpful little tips and tricks thing that I just learned. So eventually I got to this and as you can see, it's kind of wobbly. I was adding too many stitches and you don't really want to do this because then your hat, instead of making a cone shape, will make kind of an opposite shape that it's going the other way, getting too big. So I actually had to go back and take some of these stitches out and do it again with adding less stitches in. So I've got this far into the beanie making process. So it's basically like a little kind of yarmulke. I'm trying to make it for about my head size with my hair. My hair is about the same size as his head. So I'll basically be making it to fit me. So I'm going to crochet it probably down to here maybe in the front and then keep the back going to about here, I guess, and then figure out the helmet situation. The other option I've thought of, and I've done before with making a Boba Fett beanie, is not making the helmet movable and just putting the face of the helmet here. So it's still a beanie, face of the helmet here, so you get the idea that it's a Mandalorian, but it won't be movable to come down and cover your face. It'll just always be right above your face. So it's more an idea helmet versus an actual kind of functional. It's not really functional because it'll still hurt when someone punches or shoots you in the head. What did you say? Someone punches or shoots you in the head, but functional as an visor can do this. So looking at it now, I think this is the color I'll use to make that center thing and probably to make the sides. I did get the third yarn, so I have a slightly different shade if I need to make the sides of the cheeks different, but I'm not sure if I will or not yet. So let's just keep crocheting on and see how this goes. Starting on the visor, I single crochet stitched a few rows of gray and then I started black to start the visor part of the visor, the like visual part. And putting it up to light, you can see that you can kind of see through these holes, but not that well. So I ended up doing the black with a double crochet stitch so that the holes would be bigger and easier to see through. So this is the eyesight part of the visor, just looks like a big thong. And this is when I filled in the rest. As you can see on the side, it's a little wonky. So I had to go back in and make some extra stitches on the side just to even it out so it was more squared instead of wonked out. So this is a... Uh... <laughs> The uh, hat so far um, smooths down my hair and looks me real look real silly. So this is the first version of the face plate that I made. I did not intend to make it 3D, but I guess it kind of works because that part of his helmet sticks out more, I guess, and this is more in the shadow, the darker part. Um, that was entirely unintentional. So just fitting it on. So, I'm not sure how I want to make this. Let's see. So I can slightly see through the black part because it's the looser crochet. Maybe if I stretch it out. Ooh, if I stretch it out more, I can see. Ooh, even better out of it. So the more you stretch out that crochet, the better you can see out of it. Uh, I have my glasses on, but it doesn't seem like it looks that bad. So I'm thinking maybe I put a button here and then, <laughs> and nope, that'll look real dumb if it just flips up like this. Hey, hey, how you doing? How's it going? Oh, no, 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 no. How you doing? How you doing? Damn it, Carl. Go wait in the hall. I think maybe I'll put two buttons. So like one here and then one further back. So that maybe make it so it can be worn like this, but then I'll have to put a button way back here. And he does have the things on the side, which I can disguise the button in, but I don't know if one that far back will just be real stupid looking. I feel like I've come up with two options. One, I have a button here and a button here, and to wear it, 
you put it here and then you unbutton it and put it back here or uh, make a side come out further here and so it can button here and then when it goes up maybe there's a button here that that can button to either way it seems like with the way I made it I'm gonna need to switch button placements but I'm thinking I like the one just making a hole here and a hole here and using the same button a hole here so it plugs in here to be on top or it plugs in here but I might still need to make this a little wider either way I still need to make the detail of the bar coming up here to the back and then the ear things which are going to have the button thing on it all right let's get to those details so details here are the things I have made so far I have the main hat the visor and the top horn like thing that goes all the way back and this is me measuring it out to make sure I make it about the right size and to make sure I sewed it in about the right spot I used pins to pin it on and then I just went through with a yarn needle and yarn and actually sewed it on with the same color yarn the darker one and then these are the side pieces I made to put on the side of the hat so I'm not sure if I want to just have the sides or have the thing coming down I'll probably crochet another thing coming down because in the pictures it kind of looks like that I do feel like this is super close here but I kind of need it super close so I can put a button on for the mask to attach I haven't crocheted on yet I just have it with pins to try it out Let's see and I did manage to get this a little too far over to the side but it's not a huge thing So I'll need to put a button like here and here for a buttonhole. I might still want to make this hat longer because that doesn't match up at all. Okay, so I'm going to try attaching this thing on and then putting the buttons on, maybe making this longer. I might also, I already had made this a little longer. I might go ahead and put another stitch or so on. But since I attached this back part already, I might have to make another dark part a little further down or just leave it and see how it goes. It is coming along just very slowly. So I didn't feel like taking the time to make a buttonhole stitch around the buttonhole. So I just found a hole that was kind of big and poked my finger through where I wanted it. And that really made the hole big enough for the button to fit in. All right, so I still have strings down. Haven't made the things on the side. Don't know if I'm going to. I still haven't made it longer. Also, don't know if I'm going to. But this is pretty much it. So I'm finally done with this version, at least. So I did manage one of my goals, which was to be able to wear it further down as a shield or up on top as a beanie. I'll just model it real quick, messing up my hair, but that's okay. So this is how you can wear it just as a normal beanie, kind of normal. That's not normal. Beanie. Try to give a full view. This is still a little funky, but... I'm still working on stuff. So here's the beanie version. And flip it off. So it is inconvenient to have to take these buttons off. I do recognize that. And just put the button onto the lower button. And this is the more shield way. And it is a little puffed out more because of my glasses. But you know, some people wear glasses. And here we go. 
And I can kind of see, depending on where I look through, so if I get this further down over my eyes with the double crochet, it's a little easier to see through, versus if it's further down, it's a little harder to see through. But I wouldn't wear it down like this to go skiing or anything, because it does obstruct your vision quite a bit. But just for if you were taking pictures with your buddies, that's fine. Let me take my glasses off. So this is it without my glasses puffing things out. Uh, not too bad. I kind of actually like it a lot. And let me show you. If you lift it up like this, it is kind of dumb looking. So you really need to like take it off completely to wear it up. It's a little, okay. so this on a little crookedly. So you can like fold it like this, but that also looks pretty stupid to me. But I guess if you wanted to wear it down and then you're like, oh, I'll just have some coffee. You can fold it up and this is like you're drinking out of a straw, not like you have a really skinny cup. I don't know what this is. So that is an option to wear it this way, but it, but it kind of distorts the whole idea of what it's supposed to be. So you will have to unbutton it. See if I can do it without looking. So if you are having to transform the hat by yourself. and then button these two. But right now I'm feeling like I don't even need the bottom ones buttoned and it kind of seems okay. Um, I do feel like I should have placed these buttons in the back further back so it would be tighter on the top because I like to look with it better tighter on the top than how I have it kind of loose. So I don't quite feel comfortable with this as a final pattern yet. Um, I was trying my hardest to make a pattern as I went, but I kept taking things out or spacing out while watching TV and just continuing to crochet and not continuing to pattern things. So I'm going to try and make another one and see if I can make a pattern from that because I'm, I'm not good at all with following patterns, which is also something that gets in the way of me trying to make a pattern. I'm more of a see something and make it. So now that I can look at this and remake it, I think I'll be able to make a pattern a little better and maybe fix some things that I don't like the most out of this. So I won't quite have the pattern up today in the description below, but I'm gonna keep trying to work on it this next week and hopefully produce a better pattern. But if you just wanna see kind of more in depth what I did, more than what I already showed you in this video, if you keep watching at the end of the video, I'm going to put up some more pictures of everything just so you can get a closer look in case you're like me and learn by looking at something. Oh, and I also have this Baby Yoda dress that I made myself to go with my Baby Yoda hat that I had made in October of last year, but I currently stored that hat out of my reach right now so I couldn't get it to wear for this video. But look at all the cute little Baby Yodas on it. I really like it. And I already cut out another one of these to try and sew and put on my Etsy later this week. So a lot of things coming later this week. So in summary, this is my Mando Mandalorian helmet beanie with the visor up. If you're looking for a cool pattern, check back in the description below in about a week. I'm trying to get a pattern made. And with my extra ones that I'll probably be making while trying to make the pattern, I'll put those on my Etsy account if you want to check those out next week also. If you're already subscribed to this channel, thank you, thank you so much. And if not, please consider hitting that subscription button down below. Just a quick summary of what you'd be getting into. I mostly post craft videos or random videos or sometimes travel videos or cooking videos or review videos. So I, I really post a lot of weird stuff. But Thursdays I try to keep for handcraft, hand sewn, day after hump day crafting days. And thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for being here with me today and have a great rest of your day. Keep it crafty out there.
So let's just keep crocheting on and see how this goes.